Amen. Amen. The famous verse, Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Plans to give you hope and a future. But God is saying up front, I know the plans <laughs> that I have for you. And, and really, this ties to our Sunday school lesson this morning and, and the discussion that was had this morning. Uh, God's plan includes everything. The good, the bad, the ups and down. God's plan includes everything. The start, the finish. And God knows what is happening in between. God says, I know who's talking. God is saying, I know the plans that I have for you. For you. Call your name. I know the plans that I have for you. Declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Now, now we talked a bit about prosperity this morning, and it, it suggests sometimes that, that we have the prosperity preachers that, that the only thing they want to preach to you is prosperity. Right. But, but God, throughout his word, gives us a condition for that prosperity. If you would do this, then I would do that. If you be willing and obedient, then you shall eat the good of the land. I put for you this day a blessing, the curse, life and death. But it says you have to choose. You choose. Everything that God puts before us, uh, the choice is ours. In the garden, in the garden, Adam and Eve had a choice. And they had a choice. And the choice was made. And because of the choice they made, uh, when we were born afterwards, Every man that was born was born in sin. But you've got to understand that the born in sin had to do with the Father. And since Jesus was born, man was his father. You've got to understand how this thing works. Every line, every precept that's in the scripture is line on line and precept on precept. Whatever God is saying, he has the word to back him up. Amen. And he will not divest anything from the word in order to make you feel good. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. He will not sidestep an issue <laughs> in order to make us feel good. Feel all right about it. But I know the plans. It's personal that I have for you. Declares the Lord. Plans to prosper. And if you live in this world, in this, this world, God is going to prosper you. If I go to where the word, he is going to prosper me. Amen. At the moment, it may not seem as though I'm prospering, but I beg to differ. If I'm in the word, I am prospering. It, it, it seems that the world is, is, is getting a, a, a knack of this because I, I see a Michael Jordan. I see uh, one of the Williams sisters and folks that, that's on top now but they weren't always on top. Right. Michael said in order to win you gotta lose. You gotta lose. We're not willing to lose. Right. We're not willing to give it up. But God's saying if you want to go to the top you gotta start at the bottom. Yes. Amen. Yes. And then the we have been fed so much. Even in the Christian world, we've been fed so much that uh, God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be happy. Please understand, that's not in Scripture. It's not in Scripture that He wants you to be happy. He wants you to serve the Lord with all your heart. Lead not to your own understanding. In all the ways of knowledge Him and He shall direct your path. Mm -hmm. Now, let me have you understand. When you serve the Lord with all your heart, that, that's, that's what God wants. Uh, happiness comes as a result of, of that. Happiness is short-lived. But God wants to have joy. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I want to walk in the joy of the Lord. The Lord is my joy. He is my peace. He is my comfort. He wants me to have the joy. Amen? Amen. That's right. Happiness is short-lived. 
If you do well, I'm happy. If you treat me well, I'm happy. So what if you don't treat me well? Mm -hmm. I'm unhappy. But my joy, no matter how you treat me, my joy can remain. The Bible says that your joy might be full. God wants our joy to be full. Amen? Well, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. So whatever God does for us, it's, it's never to harm us. Amen? So it, if, if I can get us to really understand and appreciate from God's perspective, whatever he does, he does it with us in mind. Whatever he does, he does with us in mind. And what's in mind is what he says here, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and to and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Before we were born, God had a plan. While we were living, God had a plan. He had a hope in us. Amen. Now I want you to take you to Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26. I'm going to read verse 12 through 19. And, and studying this, there, there's something that, that really jumped out at me that I know I've read it before. I, I, I understand the concept before, but I, I want to drive this point home. I, I pray that the Holy Spirit drive this point home of what I saw in this scripture. Everybody got it? Acts chapter 26, starting at verse 12. Acts chapter 26, starting at verse 12. Everybody got it? Praise the Lord, let's go to it. Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me, and them which joined with me. And when we were all fallen to the and we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me, saying in Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And a prick is, is a goat. It, it's a measure of death. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. The light came for this purpose. I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. Now you've got to understand that, that, that Saul thought he was pursuing God. He thought he was doing what was right. Just like there are Christians that think that they are doing what's right, even though they're coming against the word of God, they're coming against the authority of God. They can treat you badly, they can treat you uh, so messed up, and uh, because they justify in themselves, they believe that it's okay. But my justification comes not in whether I think it's okay, it comes whether God says it's okay. But rise. Step on that feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee, quote, a minister and a witness, mm. both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee. Now, what, what God is saying is he's setting the stage. I've appeared for purpose that I'm going to show you right now. But there's some things I'm going to show you later on. Some things when you first got saved, God revealed certain things to you about holy living, about righteous living, about sanctification. That, that was good for now. But, but he said, I have other things that I need to tell you, but I'm not able to tell you now because you're not able to handle it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that, that as, a, as, as a child, uh, that baby that, 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 that's giving God praise there, I submit to you that she will know more later on than what she knows now. Right. You can explain something to her right now and she may understand right. some things. You can't feed her longhorns. Right. 
right. state dinner. Right. Right. Her digestive system is not sufficient yes. to handle. Yes. But, 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 but keep feeding her yes. what she can handle. Mm. Keep mm. feeding her what mm. she can handle. Mm. And by and by, in the sweet by and by, she's going to get up one day and say, Dad, I want, I want a steak. Uh -huh. <laughs> and based on how soon she asks for a steak, watch it. You might question whether or not she ready. Can you handle a steak? Mm -hmm. Listen, your children in the spiritual man, you don't always know what they can handle. Sometimes we put children down. You too young for that. You don't know. Mm -hmm. You don't know where they are spiritually. Question that I hear in Sunday school that, that these youngsters are, are, are asking. I'm saying it's beyond their years, but they're, they're, they're asking it. There's something that God has placed in them that, 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 that put them above the other little kids that has more around and, 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 and play games. They, 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 they give us some thought. I'm looking at Amari, and, 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 and he's on his little game thing, whatever, and I'm thinking that he's not even hearing the question. Holds his hands up, acknowledge him. The thing that comes out of that young mouth, I'm saying, even though he's playing on a game, he's hearing. There are things that, that, that your kids hear that you don't think that they're hearing. Amen. Amen. And if you allow them to be themselves, they will give you words that indicate that they're hearing. But, but be careful now. Be careful because what they're saying is what is, but it's not what you want to hear. <laughs> In other words, they will tell you the truth. You want to know the truth? Ask the kid. A kid with you. And you know, boy, manage with your, no, no. You ask him a question and he gave you an honest answer. He grows up, he learns how to lie. Amen? Amen. He, goes, he learns how to lie. He learns what you want, what you expect. And that's what he gives you. And he grows up with the idea that, that if I want to get along in this world, I got to say what he wants me to say. Here's from God's point of view. For this purpose, to make the administer and a witness, two things, a, wit a minister and a witness, both of those things which thou hast seen, and of those things which I will appear unto thee. Here's a clincher. Deliver thee, deliver thee, deliver thee from the people. You really can't become effective for God until you deliver from the people. Uh, yes. Here's my point. Here's my point. When I'm delivered from the people, then I can be who I am. I can give you, as a child will give you, I can give you the word of God, and it does not matter what you think about me. It does not matter whether you send me, whether you withhold things from me. It does not matter. I am delivered from yes. you. Yes. Yes. Can you? In order to be a disciple, God said, I got to die to myself first. When I die to myself, say what you want to say. I will give you the word of God. This is what he says, Paul. To deliver you, I, I, to de deliver thee from the people and from the Gentiles. Two sets of people. I looked up people and I looked up Gentiles. Two different things. I did these from church folk. Mm. Mm. <laughs> right. Y'all got to understand what I'm talking about. When, when we look at, look at the, the people, it refers to uh, the, 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 the Jews. Right. Right. I deliver you from church folk. Mm. I'm, 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 going to, I'm going to bring it on to, to us. From church folk, because please understand, the one that most detrimental to our witness is church. Right. I won't say what I need to say just like a child. Thank you. 
get to the place where I won't say what I need to say because she won't like that. I have already determined you don't like that. And because you don't like that, then I won't say what is in my heart to say. Amen. But God's saying, before I send you out to the people, I got to deliver you from the, the people. people. Does that make sense? Yes. Wow. Yes. Thank you. We, 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 we talked this morning about, um, I think it was Sean that, that was, we was talking about uh, the witness that we, we, we try to make in front of people. And uh, probably don't mess it up, but it, it, it had to do with, with, with uh, Democrat versus Republican versus there's some Democrats that won't say what is right to say because it might offend some Democrats. Republicans won't say what's right to say because it might offend some Republicans. And what it's saying is this, it really doesn't matter. If it's in you, if, it's, if the truth is in you, stand up. And when you stand up, what's gonna happen is your message won't get out. Your message won't get out, amen? It's going to be squished. <laughs> but as, as long as you know the truth, it doesn't matter whether you get out or not. It got to the point where God heard it. Uh, I said about skull, always going to remember this scripture, but there's a scripture that talks about a prophet. It talks about a prophet, and he said, by his words, he delivered the city. By his words, he delivered the city. But he wasn't well, but was strong enough. His testimony didn't, didn't, didn't ride high because he, 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 he was too small a man. But, but according to his word, by his word, by his testimony, he delivered the city. Please understand. God's purpose, God's plan is first to deliver us from the people and from the Gentiles. Now the Gentiles are, are the non-believing Gentiles. It's the, it's the non-believers. So God is delivering me so that I might be in position to spread the word of God to the saved as well as the unsaved. Yes. Yes. It makes no difference to me. I'm here to voice the word of God. Yeah. And, and I, I used to wonder why is it was that, that, that as God brought me up in ministry that, that there were times when I never forget we were at the uh, Intangelo uh, the revival was being held by uh, Sister McLeod and we went because uh, Elder McLeod used to come down our house and, and, and that was a praying man that, that was a man that fasted 40 days and 40 nights mm. I mean and, and, and he speak and, and, and just Voice would come out of his mouth. But, but she held a revival, and, and so we went, and then he got sick in Panama City. And she asked me if I would uh, take over the meeting while she wanted to check on her husband. And I said, yes. My thoughts, don't ever go to your thoughts. My thoughts was that she's gonna go check on her and come back. A week later, she was still calm. But my point is this, every, I, I was going to space on it, and every day I would go, I would pray, God, God, give them word, give them word, give them word, give them word for the people, give them word for the people. I would come back that night, and that night, be a whole house full of people. And, and then there would be folks that said, oh, that word was for me. Oh, thank God for that word. Thank God for that word. The next night, I go to, the next day I go to work, Lord, I need a word for the people. I need a word for the people. I need a word for the people. That next night, one person. <laughs> but I would unload on her. <laughs> I would unload on her. But this to me, yes. God gave me a word and God knew. Yes. See, God knows your plan. He knows what he has for you. And he knows the word that he's given to you. Mm -hmm. Don't dare look at the size of the people yes. and determine whether, what kind of message you're going to give. No, whatever word God gives you, Amen. that's what he wants you to speak. Mm -hmm. Amen. God is saying, I have, 
I've called you for this purpose, speak the Lord, to deliver you from the people yes. and from the Gentiles. God wants us to understand that, that before I can be of service to him, I must be delivered myself yes. from myself. Can you understand what I'm saying to you? We're too easily persuaded by people. I'm too easily persuaded by what you may think. Your thoughts. And God forbid if you got a little something, something. A little something, something. Mm -hmm. And I feel that if I don't say what you want me to say, mm -hmm. I won't get a little something, something. Please understand. It's not according to the filth of the ways. The ways. It's according to what God has provided for me. If I do it right, God says He want, he, He's going to prosper me. Yes. So whether you do it or not, I'm going to be prospered. Amen? Amen. Whether it comes from you, do you understand how this thing works in the kingdom of God? When I do my power, my position, yes. my blessing will come not from you. Right. But it comes from God. You may be the person that gives it to me, but my blessing comes from the Lord. Don't, don't you dare look at people as your source. Mm. God is my source. Yes. Do you understand that? God is my source. And, and as long as I can embrace that God is my source, no weapon. No weapon. Because you become a weapon when I hold you up wow. as being my source. Wow. If I do it right and see what I'm doing is, is, is I'm, 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 I'm allowing myself to be pulled by you, to be persuaded by you. But when, 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 when God kills me, when God allows me to be totally separated from you, he said, I've called you from the people and from the Gentiles. From the saved and unsaved. Sometimes, sometimes, believe it or not, uh, even as Christians, we make decisions. We make godly decisions in an ungodly world because of prophets. I'm looking at what is what's in it for me. Please understand, God wants to prosper and he will prosper. But for any of you that, 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 that is, is, is watching this and you have a difference with it, go to the Word of God. Go to the Word of God. It's God's will that we prosper and be in health. It's God's will that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. So the condition is, what we talked this morning, the condition is, my soul needs to prosper. Mm -hmm. My soul needs to prosper. Mm -hmm. If you're not prospering spiritually, I don't care what you do. You might be being your wife every, every other Saturday. Wait, what? <laughs> Please understand what I'm saying to you. You might be lying on your taxes every other Tax season. You might have gotten your wealth by taking from little old ladies. But what, 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 what the Bible is, what, what, what people try to tell you is that because you're prospering, that's God's blessing. It doesn't work that way. When God blesses me, I know it was God. Please, if you get nothing else, get this part of the scripture that we're talking about. God said, I, want, I made you a minister and a witness, both of these things which I have seen and those things which I will appear unto thee. I'm going to tell you some things now, and there's some things I need to tell you later. But, but my purpose is this, to deliver you from the people and from the Gentiles. 
from the people, from the people. I don't know if you looked at it from that standpoint, but it just jumped down that mountain. Yes. He delivered me from, I got to first be delivered from the people. Except the corner we fall into God and die, it abides alone. Except the corner we fall into God and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, oh, that's the fruit that's going to be manifested. If I die to my own affections and lust, if I die to myself, then what God has provided for me is going to be manifested. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But it's important for me that I understand. And as I said this morning in Sunday school, our problem is we don't want to die. Mm -hmm. I, I, well, that, that, that's just me. I know. It might be you, but kill it. When the, when the Bible is trying to make a distinction with us, except you hate, hate's powerful. Right, right. Except you hate your mother, right. your father, sister, brother, right. even yourself, you cannot. That's why right. you cannot be my disciple. Mm. Now, what is it saying? It's saying that, that I must be first delivered from the people. I can't do the will of God unless I'm delivered from the people. Unless I'm free in my step to do all that God has given me to do. Do you understand that, that, that there, there, there's, help me out on this, there's scripture that, that, that talks of uh, doing a part of what God says do. Talk, where, 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 where's that from? I, I did part of Oh, um, uh, the king, when the king saw, saw when he, yeah, okay. In other words, I got to do all or none of what God is saying. But God, I, 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 I did, I did some of what you're saying. No, no, no. If you're going to obey God, you got to do all of what God is saying. And in order to do all of what God is saying, I must first be delivered from the king. <laughs> Drop that ball on me. I gotta be delivered from the people. Yes. If I don't, yes. now, now, people and the Gentiles, and, and, and looking at that, I said, well, why, why is it the people and the Gentiles? Then I looked up the word people, and the background behind the people is the Jews, the Christians. And then the Gentiles, it's the non believers. So, what is God saying to me? In order for you to give the truth that I give to you, you must be first delivered. The saved and the unsaved. You gotta be able to speak the truth. No matter what the consequences. Yes. Are you at that place? Yes. Are you at that place that you will speak the truth no matter what it costs you? Yes. And I'm saying this, it will cost you your life. It will cost you your life. Please understand how many are willing to die. I mean, I'm gonna, please understand. This is not just in Sunday school. Everybody want to. Everybody would die in, 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 in church right now. Uh -huh. Well, maybe everybody. But I'm, I'm telling us, if I want to serve the Lord, I must be willing to die to my own affections and lusts. I got to be willing to die. Now, when, I, when I'm dead, then it does not matter. You can kick me. If I'm dead, you can kick me, and I won't bite back. Mm. You can spit on me, mm. and I won't complain. Mm -hmm. You can knock me upside the head, and I won't even grumble mm -hmm. if I'm dead. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying to you? And this is why the Bible is saying, God, first of all, in order for me to follow him fully, I must be delivered from church folk and from the unsaved. So what God is saying, it doesn't matter. When I give you a word, going back to the word that uh, Mr. Paul was saying this morning, uh, true prophets of God, I will speak it. And this is what, he, this is what God said to Israel this morning in, in the Sunday school lesson. Whether they want to hear it 
God gives you a word, I need you to speak it, whether they obey or whether they don't obey. Do you know you have to have something in you to be able to stand up and, and decree that, even though you know that who you're saying to is, 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 is one of knock your side of the head or do something worse? And sometimes these are people that, that, that's close to you, people that you care much about. And yet God said, speak it. But again, when I can die to my own affections and lust, when I can die, when I can um, be for the people, I can die uh, before I, I, I speak to them, it does not matter. I will speak the truth. This is why. If somebody comes as a little child, I think God that. If somebody comes as a little child, children will do exactly that. Yeah. You want to know the truth? Yes, yeah, child. That's it. <laughs> my mama said, That's right. <laughs> my mama said, You stay. <laughs> what, what good? What, where did you hear that word from? She heard you, he heard you say it. And simply speaking the truth. My mom said, you're always trying to be, you're always trying. And you're embarrassed. And because you're embarrassed, you try to make amends. But that child will speak the truth as that child is. And the Bible says, except you come as a little child, as a little child, I will say what God gives me to say. And, 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 and in real life, adults come down hard on children because they're being mannish. Because they're simply repeating what they know to be truth. Saints of God, it's important that we speak truth. Amen? Amen. And it really doesn't matter. Um, the lesson this morning was so on target. God said in the, in the lesson this morning to, to it was Ezekiel, he said this, I'm going to send you to people that, that, that should know the truth, that want to hear the truth, but they ain't going to hear you. Let me give you a, a note. They don't even hear me. They won't hear me. So they out of me and you. Church folk don't want to hear truth. They want to hear something that makes them feel good. They, I, I, I want to give a thing where I can I can rock with it and I get you rocking with me. Oh, praise the Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Oh, God. and I get you rocking. And I'm saying all kinds of stuff. And you don't you don't hear the words. You don't hear the words. The Bible is very clear. And it was talking to Ezekiel. He said, I'm going to send you to people that, that he said, if they were a foreign language, if they was a strange language, they probably won't hear. They would hear if they were a strange language. But because they're church folk, <coughs> they don't want to hear. I know it sounds strange, but Here's what the Bible says, examine yourself. I'll get this off me, examine yourself. Examine yourself to see what is the truth. Examine yourself. Amen? When, when I want to look at everybody else and, 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 and well, she's trying to judge me. No, 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 the Bible says you examine yourself to see whether you're in the truth. Examine yourself. And if I examine myself, then I got what they're blaming me. Amen? Amen? It says, verse 6, a, a minister is a spokesman, and a witness is a doer to deliver it from the people and the Gentiles. How will this be done? Verse 18 says, open their eyes to turn them from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to God, 
that they might receive forgiveness of sin and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in Jesus Christ. That's how it's done. But I need that truth in me. In order for me to tell you, I need that truth in me. And I guess I'll go back to that. that, I, that I had as, as, uh, when I said, no, you cannot leave where you do not go and you cannot teach them. No, you cannot leave where you do not go and you cannot teach that you do not know. In other words, I gotta know it before I can teach it. We have too many folks teaching, but they're not willing to be doers of it. Is everybody perfect that's teaching? No, 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 I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is, I, I, I'm teaching you against fornication and I got me Two, two, three side chicks. I don't know what y'all call them now. Side chicks? Is that true? I got two, three girlfriends. And the church. And sometimes, sometimes these folks get up and, and, and they declare uh, this church, we, we, we understand. Well, I, I know what the church is. In our surrounding area, Sister God was, you speaking with me. Man. Put her out, put her out. And because he had these folks that, that, that obeyed him, put him out, put him out. Please have me understand this. Let me live in such a way that if I should err, and ain't no error that, that that's just out there, mm -hmm. so, but if I should err in, in terms of a thought process, in terms of such as that, uh, let me repent because God gives room for me to repent. Amen? Amen? Because I'm, I'm teaching repentance, so uh, if, if I can repent, then you can also repent. Mm -hmm. Amen? But, but, but don't let me get caught up in things that, that I know is against scripture. Yes. And, 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 and I'm trying to convince you otherwise. Uh, let me talk about uh, We want God to use us. Amen? Amen? We want God to use us. But the lesson today is saying before God can use us, he got to Free us. What that word he use? Deliver us from people. Deliver us from the people. He has to deliver us from the people. He has to deliver us from the people. The Jew, the Jew and the Gentile. Deliver us from the saved and the unsaved. I gotta be so delivered that whatever God gives me a word, I will speak that word without regard to how you take it. And, and as God said to Ezekiel this morning, uh, whether they hear or whether they forbear, you give them, give, give them my word. Amen. Amen. Are, are you, if you're not in that state, that's what we should be praying for. What I want, I want, I want to be able to give your complete word, and the only way I can give it is to be delivered from the people. Doesn't mean I don't love you. But I want to be so delivered that, that when God gives me a word, I'm more concerned about him than I am about me. I'm more concerned about what he thinks than what you think of me. Can you understand what I'm saying to you? Saints, we got some growing up to do. Yes. We got some growing up to do. Now, 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 lest you think I'm, I'm standing in judgment of you, I'm not. I'm putting all of them in the same boat. The fact is, what I'm saying to you, I'm saying to me first. Amen. I got to go to the point where uh, none of that matters. I will speak to you the truth of God. Whether you like it or whether you don't like it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to come down on you. I'm not trying to make you feel bad about me. But I'm simply saying, this is the truth. Deal with it. Now, now if you keep reading that scripture, uh, 
Paul says this. He told King Agrippa, King, I was not disobedient to the heavenly vision. In other words, whatever God showed me, that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Whatever God showed me, that's what I did. What is he showing you? What is he showing you? Will you do what God is telling you to do? It's going to take some guts. Yeah. It's going to take some guts because as we talked this morning, they're, they're, they're both in the church world that, that really don't want to hear the truth. They want you to placate themselves and placate us to where we feel all right about ourselves. On my way to hell, I feel okay about myself. Mm. Please understand this. God shed his blood through the person of his son that I might be fully delivered. Fully delivered. Fully delivered. If you want to come at me from the standpoint that we all sin, please understand. A baby. What, 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 what's the baby name? Um, Serenity. Serenity. Uh, she got a key to the car? <laughs> She's your child. Your flesh and blood. She's fully developed. She's full, a full, a full baby, full child. Why you don't give a key? Talk to me. Why? 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 Because she don't know how to drive. She don't know how to drive. Who made that determination? She don't know how to drive. <laughs> so because you do, then it's saying that your father knows more than what, uh, yeah. what you know. You understand? Your daddy knows. God says, I have some things yes. that I need to get to you. Yes. But he said, you're not able to handle them. Right now, right. even though that's my child, right. she's not able to handle yes. it's peace. You determine at what point in time you can give the child. Oh, every child that can strike a match can cook your food. That's right. I'm going back a ways when, when you had the wood stoves. If I could strike a match, couldn't you? <laughs> we had to cut the wood, put it in the stove, and then get it hot, and then let mother come up and, and, and put the thing on there. And I mean, that one was a good biscuit. It would, it, would, it would melt in your mouth. Oh, why is it the old folk, the older folk, to cook that well. I mean, is it from scratch? From scratch? Man, that's, they, they have no process stuff. They have scratch. Take your shoes off when you sit down to the table. Because you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta wiggle your toes a little bit. All I'm saying is, Something has been lost in transition. And, and as, as we look at things and how they used to be, we're, we're at a microwave dispensation right now. I, I, I want it. It's not against the kids. It's, 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 it's like what I'm saying. Kids can do, like, like I was talking about uh, Amari, doing, he, he's on his little, what do you call that thing? What, what, you, what you got, man, that, that, that little, what you be doing? Uh -huh. Huh? Game. Yeah. What little game thing that you have? Oh. I'm oh, saying, yeah. he's doing that. At the same time, he's listening to, I'm putting all my energy into trying to listen to the, to the question and put all my energy into to trying to come up with an answer, and he says playing on the game. Mm -hmm. And 
it seems like God drops them in his spirit and he raises his hand and he just answers a question. I'm saying, God, where that, where that question, where that answer come from? It means he gave us some thought. He gave us some deliberation before he came up with the answer. And that answer was so right on. In all of my <clears throat> years, <laughs> I don't think I would have come up with that kind of answer. And particularly not at his age. At his age, I was, well, I was doing other things. <clears throat> Please understand me. We're at the last end. Anybody ever seen the 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 the, the, um, the real the real uh, movies? One revolution is one revolution. You you y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? No, I don't. The real the real. Wait, wait, wait. You see, uh, uh, in in the in the, in the projection. projection room, yeah. and you, you got the take up wheel, mm -hmm. and you got the wheel that that. that all the stuff is on. It goes from one to the other. Mm -hmm. And it goes through the thing and it shows you, it shows you the picture. Mm -hmm. Each revolution is one revolution. Mm -hmm. But the one out front is, is going faster, it seems. But the one behind is going slower and slower. Mm. Take a look at your life. Oh, wow. Take it to the life. It seemed like things are going faster and faster. And I believe it's because the end is nearer and nearer. Look like it used to be it took a, a day and a half to, for a whole day to come up. But one revolution is one revolution. The take-up wheel is getting more on it now, and therefore it's spinning slower. But your life is rotating faster. Can y'all remember back, Sister Jerry, when, <clears throat> when you were younger, how long it took for Christmas to come? And for Easter to come. Yeah. But anymore. But it was looked like it was just last week. <laughs> All I'm saying is the end is near. So what do they have to do? Do it quickly. Amen. But God is saying to us, He has to deliver us from the people and from the Gentiles. I need to be able to speak the word of God in truth, regardless of they want to hear or whether they don't want to hear. I need to be able to speak the truth. Amen. 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 Father, we thank the Lord for the word.